Now that the base station is installed, the next step is going to be interconnecting all the cable points. So we're going to start with our uh, four foot jumper off the PP1, which is our negative 48 volt surge protector. And sometimes people, customers typically like to route this cable through the mounting brackets just to kind of keep everything a little bit snugger and closer to the equipment. So that's just one uh, recommendation. You can do that or wire it, run it however you like, but you're going to connect it to the base station's power connector the DC port, and you're going to quarter turn that on until that locks into place. Now this is already weatherproofed and sealed, so you don't need to worry about sealing that any, anymore. Um, and that's, now the power is connected from the surge protector to the base station. The next step is going to be connecting the RF jumper cables from the antenna to the base station. So we'll take our RF cable. should have seven RF jumper cables total. Six for um, the interconnections between the antenna and the base station, and one RF jumper cable from the GPS antenna to the base station, which you'll notice um, that cable will need to be a little bit longer than the antenna cables. So we'll start at antenna port one. Now, the first thing we wanna make sure we do is heat shrink, right? So I'll grab some heat shrink place it over my connector and through, and then onto my antenna port. Let that rest down there, and then I can tighten this as well a little bit. And then we're going to run this cable around, and we're going to locate our antenna port 1 of the base station. In this case, and by the way, you'll notice that my base station is a completely 180 degrees for my antenna. I want to have them completely turned 180 from each other to avoid any type of reflections or diffractions from the antenna's point of view hitting the base station and reflecting back to it. So I would turn it around. Um, so I'm going to find antenna port 1 here, which is the furthest right port. And I'm going to run this cable to that port and connect it. I uh, almost forgot to heat shrink that as well. We're going to grab our heat shrink, again, throw it over the top, around here, and there we go. Let's tighten that up, and we're going to heat shrink those two points as well. So we'll get those heat shrink. Um, I, showed, I showed you all earlier how to heat shrink. So I won't go into that again, but you want to follow that same pattern down the line, um, antenna port to base station antenna port, uh, one by one, connecting all six RF jumper cables and the GPS antenna.